Hello there, and welcome to today's edition of What is the Percent Composition of Sodium Hydrogen Phosphorus and Oxygen in Sodium Dihydrogen Phosphate? Eh, I tried with that intro. Anyway, guys, take a look at the table. We're going to first calculate the mass, and then we're going to get down to business with the percents. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each element, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript, just put in a 1. So there's a 1 at the bottom of sodium. There's also 1 up at, the at the bottom of phosphorus. So we got 1 sodium, we got 2 hydrogens, we got 1 phosphorus, and 4 oxygen. That's what those subscripts tell us. All right. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so take a look. Sodium is 22.99, hydrogen is 1.01, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we're going to write in. So 22.99, hydrogen was 1.01, phosphorus was 30.97, and then oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound here, we're simply going to multiply this row on across. See how nice and simple this is? For the hydrogen, it's going to be 2.02. .02. For phosphorus, it's, it is 30.97. And then oxygen is going to be 64. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, all you got to do is add up all these total masses, right? Nice and simple. So 119.98. And there you have it, right? There's the total mass. That was the first step of the process. Now from knowing the total mass, I'm going to add a column. We can find those percentages. Watch how simple this is. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, sodium, we're going to take the total mass of that sodium. That's the purpose of calculating this column. So 22.99 and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. So that's 119.98. All right, and the units of mass will cancel, so it doesn't matter AMU or gram per mole, it doesn't make a difference. When you calculate then the percentage here, it's gonna be 19.16%. All right, we're gonna do the same process now for hydrogen. So we're gonna take the total mass of hydrogen, 2.02, .02, divided by the 119.98, times that by 100, and we have a total mass here of 1.68 or so percent. Then oxygen. Uh, no, phosphorus, phosphorus, sorry, 30.97 divided by 119.98 times 100. Remember, this is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, all right? And we get an answer here of roughly 25.81 percent, all right? And then last but not least, we got oxygen, so 64. I'm not going to write in the zeros. They don't really do anything to the calculation except affect the number of significant figures, so just be careful to take that into account at the end. Otherwise, so that's going to be 50 53.34%. Otherwise, depending upon how particular your professor is or her teacher, they might take off 19 points for that. So when you add this all together, you should get a 100, and that's what I want for you on your next test. We have thousands of videos out there to help you do just that. Check out our channel. We'd love to help you. Remember, nothing great is achieved without some hard work, dedication, and time. So as long as you can do all three, you will be very successful in whatever you uh, plan to do. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.